As amazing it may seem, Ford Europe has never ventured into the segment of vehicles that in Detroit has forged a solid reputation in America with its 4x4. Now what you see before your eyes is meant to put an end to this curious situation, and it goes by the name of Cougar. It could be a little late in the coming because in the fastest growing segment in Europe, the competition will be stout for the Blue Oval brand. No less than 18 constructors and 20 models are already out there on the market that includes the recently released VW Tiguan. For this first attempt, Ford Europe hasn't hesitated in taking what worked on the C and S Max, which were the make's first entry into the universe of family fans. And this concept has a name, Kinetic Style. The famous Ford double trapezius radiator grille is present, as is the raised section on the engine cover. There's a touch of sport with the two rib sections, the first found on the lower bodywork and the other on the doors. And of course, there are some splendid 17-inch alloy wheels and the twin pipe chrome muffler pipes. The modest two-litre Duratorque turbo diesel engine delivers 136 horsepower. Among the purchasing points, style is the first on the list. Ford has paid close attention to this point without forgetting a fundamental, that is to say, a chassis beyond reproach, and in this case, it is that of the Focus and C-Max. No real surprises on board either. There's a large chromed coloured central console, four-spoke steering wheel, and a starter button on the dashboard. There's no doubt that this is a Ford, and the work done is both rigorous and effective. The seats and list of finishes are worthy of a sedan where the modularity of the interior space conforms to the wants of crossover users. Available in both two- and four-wheel drive, the Cougar doesn't pretend to have the climbing abilities of a Range Rover or Cherokee. But it can take on a bit of torn-up terrain like its direct competitors. However, on the road, it is top draw when it comes to handling. The fact the focus platform was raised eight centimetres is barely noticed. The car sticks to the surface and there's none of that nasty rolling effect. One drawback, though, is the high flanks of the tyres that have a tendency to drift without engaging the trajectory control. There's little to report concerning the rest, though. We would just ask why Ford waited so long to get stuck into this segment.